this is time number two yet again. Let's see if I'm live this time. It's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin. Anybody? Let me see if I'm here or not. Um, okay, am I here? Am I here? Anybody here? <laughs> I don't see me. Let me refresh. Oh, I see people. Oh, yay. Let me get, let me see if I can find me. Hi, everybody. It is Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin'. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, okay, there I am. Okay, okay. Get situated so I can see everybody. Okay, yay. Y'all come on in. We're gonna, hey, there's Tanya and Betty and Tammy and Daryl. Happy Thursday to you too, Tanya. Hey, artists. And we've got another, is it, are you Tanya or Tanya Garcia? I wanna pronounce y'all's names right. Hey, Clarice and Lisa and Sharon. And Fern, hey, Laura. Laura, thank you for sharing um, my post. I saw that you shared it. I appreciate that so much. I'm doing great today, Tanya. How are y'all? Hey, Becky, Wanda, Valerie. Oh, welcome, Valerie. You're new to the page. I hope you'll cruise around and see what we do and see if it's something that, that you enjoy and you think you might want to follow. That would be fantastic. And there's Roxanne and Patricia and Mary Alice. All my friends are here. Phyllis, Karen. Uh, got I gotta go get some glasses cases. Y'all, have y'all seen Tanya's glasses cases that she's painting these cute animals on? Oh my word, they're so cute. Hi, Pamela, Judy, Tammy. Oh, I'm so glad everybody's here. Thanks. Yeah. Um, oh, thank you for the stars, Judy. You're so sweet. Tanya, this is uh, Dana. Um, she's Dana Merritt on uh, Facebook. She does these, and I love them. Look, she put my Tater Buggin logo on the back. I love them. Y'all can order from her. Are you like me, Tanya, and you just answered anything? Because my name's Lindy, and, you know, rarely do they get it right the first time, and that's okay. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're going to do my very favorite can tra uh, transformation today. If you've been following me for a while, you've seen me do one of these before, but I'm going to do it just a little bit differently. Um, credit for the idea goes to Holly at Hot Humble Pie on YouTube. I love following her. She's got the cutest ideas, but I watched her do it, and um, so I've done several, and they all look different, you know, so I had another idea about these that I thought it would be fun to bring to y'all in case um, you haven't seen this before. And if you noticed, I put in the description um, my Pinterest free printables board. You can follow all my boards if you want to. We even have a Tater Buggin product board on there, but um, I made it easier today. Hey, Maxine and Faye. Um, so I've got this ginormous green bean can. This is actually my favorite size to do this particular project. But if I can, if I've prepped well enough, we might get two out of today's um, live. So what I did, this is what was a little bit different on this one. I went on and spray painted it. Um, my favorite color, this pretty teal color, and I used that as an accent color in my kitchen, that in yellow now. And this is the spray paint that's uh, paint and primer all in one, covers so good. It's Krylon. Yeah, I've still got the, the can is right there. <laughs> so, what I did was I have in my kitchen already, it's on a little clipboard, um, a little clip frame, and it's actually the original. I believe, yeah, I think it's the original. I found this recipe that my grandmother had written out after she died. And um, I love this so much because 
my grandmother was a very smart woman and um, furthered her education um, back in the day that that wasn't the norm for women. But then she married my papa and um, they went into farming and so she was a country girl then. But she had written this recipe out. I've enlarged it um, for this can. But what I love most, I'm gonna see if y'all can see this, um, is her recipe for rolls. So she said, um, let rise to double in size. And she wrote, need, N-E-A-D-E. -E. And it's crossed out. Have you ever written a word and you look at it and you think, that's not right, but you can't quite remember how to spell it. So what she did is she crossed it out and she just wrote work again and roll. <laughs> so you just work the dough. She gave up on need. So that makes it extra special to me because I love that. Terry, thank you for the stars. I hope you got my message. I've got your box right over there ready for you to come get anytime you want to. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach her rolls recipe how great is, we're gonna turn this into a canister, and I'm thinking flour, I don't know, it may just be a decoration, hey, Mayor and Maureen, um, but how pretty is that on this can? But we're not gonna stop there. I wanna show you how we're gonna um, do this can and make it look like it's actually a part of the ridges in the can. But I have this picture of my grandmother out there with the chickens. And so I'm gonna put it on the other side of the can. How about that? Hey, Donna and Nelda. Yeah, it really makes it special. So I'm imagining a can, if you can collect old family handwritten recipes and just cover them, put them in, you know, all around. And if you have a picture of the person, you know, with their particular recipe, would that not be the greatest gift or keepsake for you to have yourself? So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna turn this into a whole canister. I did one before this size um, and we made it, I found an old laundry detergent um, label and so we did it that way. And uh, so this one I decided I'm gonna keep for myself, but we're also gonna make an extra one, hopefully. Oh, Betty, what are you seeing here? Oh, thank you so much. So we're gonna, I'm just putting this one on the side of the can where the label used to be, and there's those ridges. This is just Mod Podge, regular old Mod Podge. And I didn't do anything fancy printing it out. Y'all know you can, um, you can actually print onto tissue paper if you want to, if you want it to be really, you know, see-through and um, what's the word? I don't know, but you can feed it right through your printer. And I did that uh, on a live a while back. I think it was for an event in the Simple Treasures Crafter Circle. And um, it was so much fun. I put them on... Um, clay pots and but all you have to do is cut a piece of tissue paper plain old tissue paper and um, tape it just make it a little bit smaller than your printer paper and put little pieces of tape in each corner and run it right through your printer and you can print anything onto tissue paper hey Cecilia Oh, good, Joyce. I am so glad. I was hoping that it might just, you know, trigger somebody's uh, imagination and, and it might just be the thing you're looking for. I'm really sentimental. I love anything um, from my family that's, you know, I love old pictures. Um, anything that, uh, especially if they're not with us anymore, that's really special. I've just got a plain little sponge, and you don't want it real wet. You want it damp. Just damp. Got a little bowl of water over there. Hey, Lori. Okay, and you're just going to start taking that sponge and press it into the grooves of the can. 
and it's amazing how well this works. And you just press down. I'm going to show it to you up close once I get it going here. Hey, Teresa. I was being careful not to talk too much at the beginning of this one um, until I got it started so we could maybe get two of these done because I'm really excited about this one. Listen, let me tell y'all, since you're here now, we're up to 89. I want to gift somebody watching live today with any one of my classes for free. So if you think you would like to, to try one of my monthly online classes, just, you know, drop a comment. Tell me which one you would choose or tell me you'd like to try one. And then what I'm gonna do, if you're watching on replay right now, please comment hashtag replay. And what I'm gonna do is tomorrow, I'm gonna go through all of those comments. If any comment that says you would like to try out one of my classes, I will uh, draw a name from everybody who comments that and we'll pick a winner tomorrow who's watched it on replay because I realize I haven't done a gift for somebody that watched on replay before. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh good, I'm so glad there's some of you that like to try it. And I have my, I'm not going to forget, because I set my alarm on my phone to go off at 4.30. So I would, rem would remember to scroll and find somebody who wants to try one of my art classes. Okay, can you see how it just molds right to the can? It takes a minute and a little bit of patience. But look, isn't it worth it? Wait, I'm backwards. I did it backwards so that y'all could read it. But I really like the way this works. Oh, so many of you want to try a class. I'm so glad. Oh, that's great. Okay, so I'm just doing that right there at the edges. Now, let's see if we can get Mama Thompson on here. Fun fact while I'm doing this, um, both of my parents, my mother's maiden name was Thompson, and she married a Thompson. So they always said I was a Thompson through and through. So I had Mama Thompson, and then my other grandma, mother, um, my dad's mother, I called Memo. But yeah, I think that's so funny that um, um, my mom's maiden name was Thompson too. Oh, Rita, you're so sweet. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. If there's anybody that, you know, has been wanting to do a class and, you you know, that you can't justify the that $10 fee, I so get it. I've been there. Um, you let me know that, too. Let me know that, too. Okay, let's see if we can get... Mama Thompson in the, what do you call that, the chicken yard? I don't know if she was collecting eggs or if she was feeding them or what. Hopefully she wouldn't get ready to wring its neck because uh, <laughs> she was good at that, I've heard. Oh my goodness, my mom said. Mom's, my mother is one of four girls. She's the youngest of four girls that Mama had. And um, she said she still remembers having to hold the chicken for for mama during that. I don't think I could do it. I have always said if I had to kill something to, really Patty, how about that? If I had to kill something to eat it, I'd be probably be a vegetarian because I don't think I could do it myself. But um, I know that's why God made the creatures for us. So I understand it. He just didn't give me a <laughs> hard to do it okay there's mama Thompson all right now I did some more prep work we're gonna make a lid for our can and then we're gonna distress it up I am glad I did this ahead of time because y'all I must have picked out the heaviest cardboard we had you know we save that stuff oh I'm gonna my hands are gonna be sore tomorrow 
But what you're going to need to do is you turn your can over on your cardboard, draw around it, and you're going to cut out three circles of cardboard that are going to they're going to fit right on top of your canister. And then we've got a fourth that we're going to put on the bottom so that it doesn't slip off. Does that make sense? So I've got my glue gun all warmed up. There's, there's the cook. The chef's been prepping for his live at 6 o'clock tonight. Who's coming back at 6 to watch him cook? Anybody? Oh, thank you, Nelda. I'm so glad to hear that. Oh, Laura, you did? I don't know that I, I don't, I don't know that I can do it. Everybody, all the guys in uh, Gerald's family, they, they love to hunt, and I'm thankful for that, but they all know the rule. I cannot see it. <laughs> I don't want to see any part of it. Um, you know what? I, I may hit the, this canister with a spray sealer. Uh, totally up to you if you want to do that. Because it will be in a kitchen. And, you know, I think that's a that might be a wise thing to do. Just spray it with a sealer. Or maybe seal it even with Mod Podge. Hey, Patricia. I hope y'all set an alarm. Set an alarm. Hopefully, are y'all getting my notifications? I hope you are, because he'll, you know, you'll get a notification when he goes live. Hey, Rebecca, how are you? I, ooh, I love your little lemonade stand, and I want to know how on earth you made those little bitty ice cubes. That was cute. Jean's coming back to watch you tonight. Okay. Okay, here's what we've got. We've got a cardboard sandwich, just like this, okay? Now... Let me think. It's been a while since I made one. Let me think of how we're going to do this part next. We're going to get our craft sticks out. Hey, Michelle. That's all right. Oh, these are the short ones. I think I need my uh, big painter stick, paint sticks down there. Yeah, we're going to, um, we're going to need, he may end up cutting those out for us, for me while I do the next can. Let's see. Big old paint stir sticks. Gosh, that's gonna be, I wanna, um, I want to cover this top so it's not just cardboard. Oh, Allison, that's terrible. Oh, those are so painful. M my mother went through that a while ago and, uh, she has messed her up as far as she thinks. Anytime she has a twin, she thinks she might have another one. She wants to head to the ER. I've had to talk to her about that. But <laughs> anyway, it scared her bad. Okay, babe. Like that. Let me think how I want to do this. He's going to help me out here. Just use the star sticks for one lid. What do you mean, Betty? Tell me that. Because we're going to cover... This is going to cover this top part so it'll look wood. It won't look cardboard. You could paint it right here like that and it would be fine. But I really wanted to... Um, on the second can, I'm going to use the other little craft sticks. They'll be just fine. But I really want this one um, to look put together. Okay, how... Let's figure this out, babe. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to utilize. You know what I'm trying to do, right? I'm, okay. okay. But you want to cover the whole thing? Yes, right? I want to cover the whole thing. So Hello, we'll... everybody. <laughs> Give me a... Uh... You made them out of hot glue sticks. I can't even wrap my brain around. We're going to let him take over this part of it, y'all. Just for a second. Um... We're about to find out, Betty. I don't. I don't think so. Hopefully not. He could, yeah, I, Mayor. He could absolutely just cut a round piece of wood, and we would not need the cardboard. There you go. I got it. 
Um, but I just wanted to show y'all a way you could do it in case you don't have somebody, you know, a Mr. Tater bugging right here with all the tools in the whole wide world. Um, so while he's doing that, let's get out another can. And I prepped for this too. So let's start prepping this and then we'll do the lids together. I'm gonna show you why I cut this. This is just printer paper that I painted to match the can. And I found more free printables for y'all. Look at this label. How great is that? So we are going to Ooh. get. <laughs> He thinks he can saw. He thinks Sarge is trying to help him saw. So I'm just doing a little cheater piece right here. Let me see how this is going to work. I think it'll be fine. So let me put this on. Hey, Luann, how are you doing? My pipe right here. Right here. Aren't they cute? And there's, uh, um, go look, because they're on the board that, uh, I shared the link to on my Pinterest and there are several y'all are just gonna love them the the colors are so beautiful I was so excited to find these and free they're just free you can't beat that I'm sorry y'all that's he's sawing get down making a lot of noise <laughs> okay get my sponge so we can just get this adhered on here okay just like that we're not going to worry with that little piece too much and now let's put the rest of it on oh you're going to do a garage sale tony those are so much work but it's a great uh time of year to have one i need to start hitting some of the yard sales all right, now this is gonna overlap this edge just a little bit. And we're just gonna do this a bit at a time, so. Okay. Okadoke. He sent out, shipped out a bunch more uh, orders today, so. I mean, he's going fishing with his brothers again this weekend. And he was determined he was going to get y'all fixed up before he left. He has been working hard on that. Don't you love that cow? I love that. It's going to really look like an old. He is Mary Alice. He's cooking at 6 o'clock tonight. That uh, new Asian dish that we just had a fit over. Ah, oh, it's so good. I can't wait to now see this is what I don't know how this is going to work with this water my ink's kind of running but I'm hoping that'll just make it look you know old old anyway let's try it see how we're doing and if you feel that the water's getting it's not messing it up too bad y'all I think I just dripped it in that one spot where I shouldn't have but I'm not going to worry about that um, it's still going to be fine. Did I get that a little bit off? I can fix it. I can fix it. There's my friend Metra. How are you doing, Metra? Metra's got a booth at Southern Vintage company uh where i have a booth too and uh sweet ella's emporium so if y'all follow southern vintage company i'm sure you have uh seen a lot of metra's cool stuff oh she is a vintage queen she finds amazing things yeah i'm loving this label i knew when i saw that one I needed to, to do two cans today because this is just too fun. All right, just hitting it with that sponge a little bit, pressing it down. And I'm even imagining, um, you know, you could put a, put, put a pretty plant in this with this gorgeous rose on it. I think that would be so pretty. Okay, 
Okay. Now, last little bit. And we'll be ready to put together the, um, the lid to this one. So you could stop here, do the distressing that you want to do on it, put a plant in it, kind of like we did with the other ones yesterday, or you can turn it into a little canister that you can actually use to hold whatever. You could still make the lid put and just set the lid beside it, but look, it just uh, suddenly looks like an old vintage can yes oh i know there's my friend brenda too hey brenda oh wouldn't it a mini rose would be so what a great gift right i think i'd love it so same thing i needed to see if we're gonna need two or three for the lid on this Let me think, because I think I'm going to do two on this one. Isn't that label great, Dawn? Y'all can uh, get it. Um, I posted a link in the description. I've got a free printables uh, Pinterest board. And every time I happen upon one of these, uh, you know, sites that offers these cool free printables, I add it to that board. So if y'all want to follow that board, um, these labels are there, along with a whole bunch of other ones. Oh, did you, Metra? Well, you know, uh, Mr. Tater Buggins cooking at six. Were you here when I told him that? He is cooking at six today, if y'all wanna um, join us for that. I'm looking forward to it. Normally he would do that on a Friday, but he's gotta go fishing, so. Oh, you can watch me and paint too. Well, that's good. I hope you'll post pictures of what you paint. Okay, so now we can use the craft sticks and I don't need somebody sawing. I can do this. We're just gonna line these craft sticks up right. That one's, that one's a little wonky. Thank you for sprinkling, Nelda. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm glad you were here for a, as long as you could be, Brenda. Thank you. Okay, let's see how many of these it's going to take. And I just think it's so cute how this um, this ends up making it, you know, finishing off this cardboard lid. Let's do one more. And I'm thinking, I think what I'm going to do is go on and glue them down and then cut them out. The fish call is strong amongst those Tate boys, I'll tell you, and when they get on those fish, they just can't, they gotta go, they got to go. Um, oh yes, I'm sorry, Celeste. Um, it's, if you look in the description of this video, um, I have shared a link, and you can go directly to it. To that Pinterest board and um, if you want to I've also got a board there time for me to choose a, a winner okay so y'all in case you missed it I'm about to uh, scroll and draw a name at random and gift you with any one of my monthly paint classes it goes back to November there's a different one every month if you are interested just comment that you'd like to try one of my classes and I'm gonna start scrolling and we're gonna just draw somebody's name. And I got that little bitty bitty. That's silly. But that's all right. Well, it's okay. You can always do this so much easier when you're just sitting here by yourself and not feeling the pressure of time and everything. <laughs> My name is, it's Lindy underscore T underscore Tate. Okay. Here I go. As soon as I get this last two down, I'm going to scroll. Scroll and scroll and 
let somebody try one of the paint classes. Hello, Georgia. <laughs> Georgia. Hello, Cynthia from Georgia. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Deborah, I love hearing that. Oh, I'm so glad. I am so glad. Okay, that makes me so happy. There's my wonky one. I don't know how I did this wrong this time, but this is probably the long way around everything. Okay, now we're gonna scroll. Hey, Rhonda. Okay, let me get down here and I'm gonna look up here while I scroll and I'll just stop randomly Okay, let me see who wants to do a class. That's all I'm looking for. Oh, see, I missed all y'all telling me how to. <laughs> oh, okay, there's the first one. Jill, Jill Shonkweiler. Let me write your name down so I make sure I get you in there. You just need to tell me which one you want to do. I see you've got a lot of little birds, so I'm betting it's the uh, current class that I'm going to actually do live on um, Sunday. But listen, if you're watching on replay, comment hashtag replay and um, tell me that you'd like which which one of the classes you'd like to take. And I'm going to draw a name from the replay, folks, because. I haven't, I haven't been playing fair on that, and I realized that um, this morning that I haven't given the replay watchers a chance to win. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to just use my scissors. Oh, there's Jill. Oh, okay, good. Was it, is it the, the um, current class that you were interested in? Is that the one you'd pick? Okay, we're just cutting around the wood. There we go. Oh, thank you, my love. Look here. We kind of have to piece it together. Put it together like a puzzle. Yeah. Oh, that's going to look so pretty. I love that. There you go. You might take a little sand in once you get it done. Uh, we're we're going to cover the edges, so we'll be fine. Thank you. Okay, now I learned that with these craft sticks, and I'm sure y'all know this already, it's best to just kind of chew at it instead of trying to do big cuts, and they won't split so bad. Okay, what I'll do, Jill, is um, after, uh, when I get off of here, I'm just going, well, I need you to message me, first of all. Just message me. And um, I will send you a link to the group. Okay, so we have a little wood top. We're going to, let's pull this one over here and let's go on and glue it down. Do you see what I mean about how it just kind of, um, it just kind of finishes it off? It makes it, it's going to make it look more uh, realistic as a canister lid. Okay. That man is so handy to have around, isn't he? I don't know what I would have done if if he hadn't been here and I just went to, to doing this live. I did get him to bring me the drill so I can be ready for that. I'm going to need another glue stick. Uh, the, the top, Jody. Hey, Jody. Um... And there's Sherry, too. Hey, the top is made of cardboard. It's three layers of cardboard that I just cut to match the um, diameter of the lid. And then I cut one just a little bit smaller so the lid won't, you know, it'll sit down in uh, the canister. Hey, Penny. The gang is all here. Gosh, we're up to 127. Is that gonna be right? 
Looks a little funny to me, but we'll, we'll figure it out. That's all right. This one's going to be for me anyway, so it'll be a story to tell. I'd have had to figure out how to make it work. Thank you for that vote of confidence, Lori. You're sweet. <laughs> so, okay, we're going to work with that. That's, that's fine. So, we've got a wood top. Now, what we're going to do to both of them is hit the wood with our favorite um, Waverly Antique Wax. So, I'm just going to do, I think I'll do it with this sponge brush. Just like this. He's on the phone with his brother. <laughs> hey, Lori. How are you today? Oh, there's sweet Sookie from Crafting with Sookie. I'm so happy to see you. Y'all say hey to Sookie. I didn't get to watch her live yesterday, and I was upset about it. I like my Sookie time. Sookie, if, I know everybody here follows you already, but if in case somebody doesn't, will you just share your link to your page, please? Because they're missing out if they don't follow you. Do you see how that just finishes it out? Now, again, you don't have to do that step if you don't want to. Um, if you want to just paint your cardboard, you can do that. You know, it's totally yours. So, here's where we are. We got my Mama Thompson's recipe on one side of my canister. And we have Mama Thompson's picture with the chickens on the other side of the canister. Okay, that's for that one. Now, let me hit this one with these just simple little craft sticks for the top. Y'all like that? I just think, you know, to upcycle a, a can you were going to throw away anyway into a useful, pretty container is just so fun. I'm sure it's not everybody's cup of tea, uh, but I sure love it. I don't know what he was saying there. And look how good those little craft sticks look. Okay. So, no, everybody thinks that's rain, but that's my... He was giving me my alarm again. Okay, now the next step. Let's go on and, now, you can use rope, you can use jute. I'm gonna use my sisal to, uh, to go around the edges just to finish them off so you don't see that cardboard. I just thought, you know, this, this color would be, you know, vintage looking and pretty. Oh, Lori, that, that's okay. I'm glad you think it's cute. All right, we're just going to start going around the edges with our rope to just finish it off and make it look good. Nobody's ever going to know that's cardboard that we stacked up under there. And um, then I have the finishing touch that is my absolute favorite part. Yeah, y'all go follow Miss Suki. She is, she is so much fun. And I was born in Mobile, Alabama, and she lives down there right outside of Mobile. So, I love that. Love that area. The color of um, the sisal on there, uh, somebody else already, already did it for you, Sookie. I found this. Who, who said uh, that it's Hobby Lobby? But I was looking all over that store. And I actually found the manager who was, bless him, he was trying to put stuff on the shelves somewhere else in the store. And I always hate to bother them, you know, because they're in the zone. But I said, I had walked all over this store. Can you please tell me where I can find the sisal rope? And he said, the what? <laughs> I said, sisal rope? 
He said, how do you spell that? I said, S-I-S-A-L. So he starts tippy-tapping on that machine he was carrying around. And he said, huh, we do have it. He said, and he starts walking, you know, he said, here, I'll take you over there. I said, you can just tell me. I'll go find it. He said, no, I want to see what this stuff looks like. It's in the jewelry section. So, um, he, he was amazed. He said, so it's just, it really is rope. I said, yeah, it's really rope. And, uh, I like the color of it. You know, it's, it looks like hay. And so I taught the manager something that day, but I'm amazed at how, how many of our craft supplies are actually over in the jewelry section. You know, that's where, and you don't have to buy this, um, this thick of a sisal. There's some thin pieces, just like jute. You know, it comes in different sizes. And um, you can buy your, that's where you can get your wire, like we used on the cans uh, yesterday. You can get leather, you know, pieces. So y'all, now listen. Oh, do they really, Judy? I'm glad to know that, because Mr. Taterbuggin is a, is a harbor freight guy. You know, he's there quite a bit. So I know I can just get him to get it for me. Um, Gina, let me show you the difference here. I don't, I can't explain it, but I can show it. So you've got your jute, you know, that's uh, this more of a tan color, just like that. This is very hairy. It's like hay. It even smells like hay. Um, so it's just a matter of which look you're going for. So I liked this. I think I'm gonna try um, burning off the little hairs to finish it off. I've never done that before, so I'm gonna try to do that. I was about to say something. What was it? I forgot. But it, oh, while I'm doing this, ow, let me show y'all this. Here, this is on my free printables page too. I just had to print them to see what they looked like. Aren't those awesome? Look at that flower. And this, I think this one is my absolute favorite, the cornmeal. But this is great too. So those are perfect for our small, um, like Campbell's soup size cans. Okay, the tedious, this is the tedious part, y'all, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the best part of it, in case, y'all, a lot of you probably already know what I'm about to do, because I've made them before, but, in fact, oh, I've got a finished one, I'll have to show you. I love vintage, too, and if I can make something that was gonna be thrown away look like a pretty old vintage piece, that's a win-win for me. They say that you can get the sisal rope at Harbor Freight, babe. So, next time I need it, I may, it may be cheaper at Harbor Freight, too. I don't know. Hi, Esther. Shelly, oh, let me tell you, that happened not too long ago. My best friend works at Hobby Lobby. And, um, but it's not my Hobby Lobby. Hers is down in Mississippi. But... They're constantly moving stuff. So I asked her, I said, Oh, welcome, Darlene. This is your first time watching. I hope it won't be your last. I hope you enjoy what we do here and you might give us a follow. Um, I went in not too long ago and I wanted a smaller glue gun with a smaller tip. I know where, where, I know where everything is in Hobby Lobby. They had moved the entire store all around. I mean, every section. Why can't they just leave it alone? Leave it alone so we know where we're going. It's like when the grocery store does that. It, all it does is make us mad. I know it's a marketing thing, so it'll make you walk all around the store. I took marketing in college. <laughs> but still, it just makes us older people especially mad. <laughs> Who else here today? 
everybody, all our friends. Everybody. Look, we got 139 friends here watching. He, yeah, it makes you look so you see all these other things, you know, that you, oh, well, you didn't even know you wanted, but. Hey, Suki, uh, it starts at 6 o'clock tonight. You better be there. I'll be looking for you. Well, Suk, it is not fish, Suki. Suki doesn't want any fish. It's not fish. It's going to hey, be Gail. Asian, and it's delicious. Oh, I didn't see Rebecca Gail was here. Rebecca and Jody, hey, everybody, hey. Carol Kaufman is here. Lori, I told Lori, them, Sherry. I told them you've gotten caught up and shipped everything. We only shipped 27 packages last two days. He's been busy, y'all. He's coming on at 6 o'clock, Gray. 6 o'clock Central. 6 o'clock. Be on Facebook here. I'm glad to catch you from Kentucky. Hey, Barbara Watson. I am so glad you're here, Barbara. Betty and Deborah. All your friends yes. are here, aren't they? I love fish, too, Mayor, but Sookie's not big on fish. Y'all, he can grill a bass filet. Woo! Or a salmon. Or a salmon fillet, for that matter. We've just been having bass lately because that's what he catches. Fixed, uh, Gail says she fixed uh, my stromboli. <laughs> Isn't that stromboli good? I love Asian food too, Judy. Carol says no fish. A lot of no people fish. feel that way, I know. Do they know what we're having tonight? Yes, they know. I, I've been telling them. It is, a, it, it is really a very delicious Asian dish. Hey. To um, remind me to, to do my gift away. Oh, Esther, it is so good because it's not fishy. I don't like fishy fish, and it is just a good white meat fish. I love it. Suki, you need to do that. That stromboli is really good. Uh, and my dad was the same way. He was a super bass fisherman and made his own lures. As a matter of fact, had. Uh, his own business making fish lures. Yes, he did. And if anybody is on from this area, you'll know who Bill Dance is. He taught Bill Dance how to fish. Yes, don't his ever daddy did. What he are, was. A what are udon noodles, and where do you get them? Good question. Udon noodles are a very. Uh, it's a it's a much thicker wheat based uh, noodle that you'll find only in the Asian section. Asian food section of your grocery stores. Oh, that's cool, Leanne. Uh, uh, what we'll be using tonight is, is a very simple little thing. It's a package. They're kind of like pre-cooked. You just throw them in the microwave oven. And they're like large ramen noodles, but oh, they're so good. It's the, But the key to this recipe is the amazing sauce that you cook everything in. That was the best flavor because he tried it. Um, I'm going to need some more glue sticks. They're can you reach were. those down middle uh, cubby down there? The the big ones, the fatter ones. So can y'all see how we're ending up? This is this is middle. Um, it's where the other glue gun is. I'm just I'm just eyeballing this, y'all. Just see how that's gonna see. It's gonna be a more finished lid. I don't either, Lori. That's why. I didn't know, honestly, I'm going to tell on myself, Leanne, yeah, the big ones. Uh, I didn't know what ceviche was until recently, and I saw a recipe. Ugh, I don't think I can do it. I don't know that I can do it. Uh, Judy made your stromboli last night with <gasps> roast beef and beef mushroom gravy and white cheddar cheese. Yum. Did you hear that? That sounded good. Ooh, we gotta try that one. I must be hungry. We're up to 147. Oh my goodness, y'all must have been spreading the love and telling all your friends. Well, That's I'll so do, sweet. I'll do good to get that many tonight. I hope you do. Y'all, let's see how many we can get Mr. Tater bugging tonight. Plus 200. Wouldn't that be great? Oh my goodness. That's both of our, we, we both would really love to do that. That's kind of one of those little goals we have. Yep. To plus 200. Uh, hey, Lori. How you doing? Here. Here's my buddy. <laughs> There's Sarge. That's my buddy. He loves his daddy. Oh, my goodness. Now, good boy. 
Okay, uh, y'all, I, I promise go. I'm almost done. I'm almost to the end, y'all, and then it's going to be the fun stuff. Wait, I gotta go. can go. you hang one second? Because I'll let you operate that drill. Oh, Because yeah. we're about to the drill yeah. portion of this. And I've got a finished one, too, to show you. Oh, one of, he's a pretty thing, isn't he, Christine? And can y'all believe... Are you talking about me again? <laughs> Um, he's a rescue. Uh, Gerald's in the Jeep Club, and um, one of the members of the Jeep Club from down in Mississippi, their neighbor, she knew they had had this dog since it was a puppy. And they moved, and they left my dog, well, it's really his dog, but it's my dog, to just roam the streets. They just left him. He wasn't chipped or anything. And so Gerald left that night when he found out about him. He went straight down to Mississippi at like 8 o'clock at night. It was almost Christmas. Uh, not this past Christmas, but Christmas before. And that's the thing about this sisal, y'all. It's not easy to cut, but you can do it. I'm using my 10 snips, his 10 snips. But anyway, Gerald went right down there and got him. So I don't understand people. All, all of our animals are rescues. Uh, but they, stupid people, have missed out on the best animals because we've got the sweetest little pack of throwaways that you ever saw, and they are treated like, um, like they should be. Royalty. Royalty. <laughs> yeah. This is their house. We just live in it. And that's fun. Okay. I don't understand people either. People are the worst. They can be the worst. Okay, now wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm gonna have you do it over here. Now here's what we're gonna do. Should I, I'm gonna burn those hairs off. Would you hand me one of the, um, our, my little candle lighters? I'm gonna see if I can do it. Yes, yeah, so we folks. only rescue Valerie. We've got fire, be careful. Y'all know folks. me and fire, I'm scared to death, death of fire, but let's see if we can. See how it'll just burn those hairs off? Oh, that smells really good. <laughs> Can you smell it? I can't smell it. it. Smells like a you just burned a blew out a candle. Oh. So this will y'all know the trick. You just finish it off. If you use sisal, if you use jute, you probably won't have to do this. Yeah. I'm scared. Uh-huh. I don't like too. fire. Did y'all watch the day that I was uh, playing with fire outside <laughs> making the coasters? I don't know how scared I am of it. But I have never tried this, and that does that does just finish it Boom. off. <laughs> Don't do that again. <laughs> he almost scared a, a contact out of my eye that day he did that. I smell it now, but it smells good. It does to you? It does to me. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad we don't have a smoke detector in here. Although maybe we should, huh? Yeah, I'm thinking I might get you one. <laughs> I don't play with fire much. <laughs> yeah, Lori, I think I cracked a lot of people. I cracked myself up. I watched it back, and I thought, oh, my goodness. It got me good. I was scared. I didn't know if it was going to blow me up or what. So, now, okay. Hey, Metra. There's Metra. Yeah. I saw Metra here earlier. She's painting rocks while she watched. Have you, Sookie? I think that's wonderful. Y'all don't, don't, uh, there's too many uh, dogs out there that need a home. Now, do y'all ever go to the clearance section of Hobby Lobby and pick up random uh, knobs? Look at this one. Can y'all see? Look how pretty. You can get them, you know, they're not, this one was on sale. It wasn't on clearance. I've got three others. Robin Newton says she'd love to try one of your classes, oh, so all you got to do is just sign up. Well, today I had told them that um, I've given one away. I already drew a name, and I'm going to pick a name for a, from the replay, too. Let's see. Okay, so now we're going to mark the middle. Where do you think that was here? Let me get my ruler. Let me do this the right way, not the Lindy way. OK, 
Okay, so we're at six inches. So we're going to do it at three. And three. Okay, so right there. Let's put it right there. Okay. He's going to drill a hole. Are you going to do it right there? I thought that's what you wanted me to yeah. do. Yeah. Lift. Now. I'm putting a block under it just so she doesn't drill into her I'm bench. Oh, I'm so sorry, Robin. There you now, go. Okay. I'm going to give you that. Hey, I'll see you all at 6 o'clock. He's got to get Everybody in the come see us. Oh, babe, look what I did. I forgot about that part. I am so stupid, y'all. I am so stupid. How, How thick did you make it? I didn't think about it. <laughs> Let's pretend. Let's pretend. Glue we're going to move on. Glue it. We're going to glue it. Glue it. Just put some. Yeah, hot we're going to glue it. Y'all, look. How pretty is that handle on the top? I'm going to glue it. Sometimes I worry about my brain, especially when I'm live. So we've got that one. I might, now that I look at it, well, I'm going to burn that sisal a little bit more because I like that that color. But let's, uh, we're not going to go through the whole rigmarole. Y'all are going to have to watch me uh, do jute around this one. But let me show you what I have in my stash. Here are my three others that I've just been collecting. I've got this one, this one, and this one. Now, I had not picked out uh, my uh, label when I bought, um, yeah, when I was at Hobby Lobby today. See, this one, y'all, was only 99 cents. But you can also, I'll show you the other options. Now tell me what y'all think about this color on this. Let me turn it around this way. On this can. I think that might be pretty. Or, let me show you this, because I have to get up once. I forgot uh, that I do still have this very first one that I made right here is a rise and shine coffee and all i did now see i painted the inside which i'll do on these so it looks finished off we've got the jute around the edge and i just took a little wood um it's it's cut on the bottom what are they called at hobby lobby where the bottom of the it's probably a knob so i just you know, distressed it, which is what I'll do with these. I'm gonna distress those up, but we're right in an hour, so I won't make y'all sit through that, because you you'll be back at six, right? <laughs> so, there's your finished piece. You can just do it simply with a, a wood knob, or grab one of those great Hobby Lobby ones that's like 79 cents, 99 cents. You like this one best, Sarah? I, I hung on to this one. I really like it. And y'all, they're functional. I mean, you can use it, of course. So, you know, free, basically, almost free. Uh, you know, stuff you've got around the house, a piece that you were going to throw away anyway. And um, Maxine, I'm glad you asked. Um, in the description of this video, you'll see a link that I posted, and I have collected a bunch of free printables on Pinterest and I have a whole board and so these labels you'll find on the um, Pinterest board that I shared the link to um, and I just printed these out today I just found these today too and they're on that board again I just I'm excited to try these too um, now let me tell y'all of course, Gerald's here at 6. He's going to cook. I'm going live one more time this week. Um, tomorrow at 4. I have found something that I'm dying to try. I haven't done it yet. But you're going to need an old pair of blue jeans. 
if there's some that you don't mind uh, playing with that you have in your closet, that's perfect. I ran over to Goodwill this morning and picked up two pair, and I'm just hoping they'll fit me. I don't know, you know, you can't try them on. I'm just holding them up. But um, I'm gonna alter these blue jeans in a way that, that I've never tried. So I'm probably gonna get off here between now and the time he goes live and see if I can make it happen because I saw a picture there, they're for sale that ran through um, my news feed on Facebook and it was one of those iffy sites that you, I don't wanna order from, you've never heard of them, nobody knows anything about them, but I loved the jeans so much. So I got to looking at them and I thought, mm, I bet you I can do something like that. We're gonna see, it may be a hard fail, but I'm gonna try it tomorrow with y'all. So if you're interested in, in things like that, I think it'll be fun. You might get some ideas, we'll see. Um, so any, any other questions? I didn't, I was so intent on getting those uh, done to show y'all as best I could, because I wanna see, I want y'all to post them in Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs. Uh, your canisters, dying to see what you make. Um, yeah, did somebody, the, the smaller piece on the bottom so that, that it doesn't slide off? Yeah, yeah, I did that. Gotta finish this up. I'll paint the inside like I did on the other one. And, um, you know, then I have, I have my Mama Thompson in my kitchen with her rolls recipe and her picture on the back. I love it. I just gotta distress it. I've gotta distress it up. Francis, I'm so happy you're here, my precious friend. They are gonna disturb you so bad. And y'all, if you <laughs> if y'all don't uh, know that story, it's a good one. And I told it when, if you can find my video uh, where I painted on jeans, I tell the story. We all got the biggest kick out of it. But if those were disturbing, wait till you see what I'm gonna do to these. I am gonna disturb these all over the place. It's gonna be fun. Oh, uh, all right, y'all. I just had so much fun yet again with y'all today. Uh, Jill, I'll get you that link. Again, if you're watching on replay, I'm gonna choose um, somebody that says hashtag replay. I wanna try one of your classes. I'm gonna do this more often. I did not know there were so many of y'all that were really wanting to try the class. It'd be a good way to try it and see if you like it. Um, without being out anything and uh what are the tops of the canister shelly they are cardboard those are layers of cardboard these are craft sticks on top i had to use paint stir sticks on the bigger one but simple you know just simple craft sticks hit with a little bit of waverly wax antique and that's it put a little knob on it and you've got a canister lid I'm so glad you do, Jill. I am so glad. Yeah, please do, Darlene. I, yeah, y'all catch the beginning of it, and you can then buy Metra. Then you can fast forward through all my yickety yakking that you, you don't need to hear. Oh, good, Lori. All right. Real, I'm glad to know that, Shelly. You know, really, once you cover up let me pull this. So once you cover up that cardboard with any kind of edging, this is just Dollar Tree jute, um, you really can't tell it's cardboard. It's lightweight and it gives it that, that it looks like wood from the top. So it really finishes off a can, a plain old can. Okay. Well, I enjoyed it. I'm going to let y'all go so that you can get back at six o'clock to our kitchen and watch what Mr. Tater Buggins gonna make. I'd love to see y'all back then and I'll be mo monitoring your comments for him. So, uh, six o'clock with him, four o'clock tomorrow with me where we're gonna disturb the heck out of some jeans. How about that? Love y'all, have a good evening, see you at six, bye.